In Bongo District Development Authority today submitted its acquittals of three years to the Department of Implementation and Rural Development. The acquittals cover 2017, 2018, 2019 and part of 2020. We are uh, presenting to you uh, three years of uh, our spending and it is important again that uh, we all leaders are unrequired by law uh, to give an account of what I did uh, and what we did, my team did, uh, for uh, in Bongo. Papua New Guinea must know that this accountability process, we must give every Toya account of where it is, the money has gone. According to the IDDA finance manager, about 24 million kina have been acquitted for. So the rollover reports have also been presented and acquitted for the rollover funds are also here. Okay. Uh, as I've said, 2018, uh, 18 we received our ESIB funds, not full amount, uh, around 8 million. 8 million, so we worked on 8 million, uh, 2018. Uh, and the 2019, 2019 as well. Uh, so that's not also in the full amount as well. There are 7 million or something. So uh, we roll over some money into 2018 funds into 2019. And then uh, 2019, we went into full, full swing infrastructure work. So that's why you see the 2019 reports are like in, 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 in <laughs> stack 2019. So uh, then into 2020. 2020, so when you put around, let's say, 8 million for last three, three years, it's around 24 million. From 2017 to present, under the leadership of Pila Niningi, the IDDA has initiated a number of projects, including the upgrade of the district's headquarters, the finance office, the police station, which took four months to build, and the courthouse, amongst others. Quite a number of projects. In terms of roads alone, you, you know, we build uh, one section where we uh, did roads. That's that's a loop road we build. Um, that's Olgia um, Konapugu road. And in terms of uh, again road is another road is um, uh, to Kiopaga from uh, uh, from Kwangi up to Kia. And then given home to Peambe road we build. Uh, it goes all the way to. Uh, yeah. We did the uh, roads and communication, uh, electricity, uh, uh, quite a number of projects were we, we initiated, but some projects were not uh, uh, completed. In Bungu is up to date with the communications. These are the areas that we built uh, towers, and now in Bungu is fully covered uh, so that you can get uh, Wi-Fi or you get uh, get internet any anytime you come. and. Uh, uh, landline is, in, is also traveling to Imbongo, so in terms of communications, we, we are there, uh, but this is not included in the report. Uh, Secretary for DIRD, Aihi Vaki, in receiving the acquittal said, development is a reflection of the type of political leaders in office. On the leadership, the development that is taking place in the provinces, in the districts, it only depends on, uh, depends on the good political leadership and good administrative leadership. When we have these two working together very closely, you can see the real outcome and the impact uh, of our, our services being delivered, and you can see the smile on our people's faces. Deputy Secretary DIRD commended the IDDA. I would really like to commend uh, Mbongu uh, District. Uh, in fact, I think this is the first time the department has actually uh, had a presentation from Imbongu District. Uh, to date, there hasn't been a, a presentation. And, uh, you know, kudos, well done. We commend the efforts of the, the minister, his administrative team, and the hardworking team that have uh, worked tirelessly not only in implementing the projects, but uh, putting together the reports and also going to the effort in having the media here and having the, the, the presentation.
it's uh, high quality stuff. You don't you don't get much better than that, and I really commend the, the district for um, uh, doing so.